Okay. Before anyone attacks me, let me make something very clear. I think this is a good movie. Okay? Heck, I literally just bought the friggin' DVD. I don't do that unless I know the film is at least worth it. And yeah, for around 8 to 10 bucks, this movie is worth having on DVD. Not to mention I still have so many more Pokemon movies I need to add to my collection because right now all I have is Heroes and Destiny Deoxys. So, yep, now I have Detective Pikachu. I'm probably going to rewatch it every now and then when there's a new one coming out, but yeah, just want you guys to know that right off the bat. I did like this movie enough to buy it on DVD. Okay? Okay. Now for me to tick off the entire internet. This movie's a little overrated. It is a movie that is very good, is entertaining, is fun, but lacks in rewatch value. And not to mention, it's nowhere near as good as uh, um, this guy. Nowhere near as good as Sonic 1 and 2, but you know what? If I'm alone on an island for that, for that one, then sue me. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this one in, you know, somewhat live action with the actual face cam, because this is a live action movie and it seems fitting, so. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I'm going to post this one on Cynical Stain 77, so this is an animation station only exclusive. So. Yeah. So let's dive headfirst into Detective Pikachu. Um, this movie did great when it first came out, and I'm going to be entirely honest with you guys. When I first saw this movie, back when it first came out in 2019, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Not to the point of calling it one of the worst movies of 2019, especially in a year when Return to Zombie Island existed. No, it's not worst list level bad. Well, that's what I thought on first watch anyway. I just found it very overrated and I didn't understand why it was making so much money. However, last night I gave it a rewatch. And on rewatch, it is a lot better. Maybe it's one of those movies that will just grow on me more the more I watch it. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah. Um, this is definitely a, a really, really good one for Pokemon fans. And it's pretty good. Even if you aren't a fan, but I'd say that if you aren't a fan, it's a one-and-done kind of film. So I'm going to start with the negatives first because I do have a lot of positives to say. First up, uh, I'm sorry, this CGI sucks, it is ugly, and it is lazy. Like, it doesn't even look like it's trying to be there. And I understand that they were trying to make it realistic to fit in this world that they created. I understand that. It's just the textures they picked on some of these characters are so bad like here let me look here pikachu looks pretty good snorlax looks pretty good and then you have ones like jigglypuff which just look creepy apom got done super dirty mr mime is absolute nightmare fuel in uncanny valley af and then this big goofy guy right here is also Nightmare Fuel. But Charizard looks pretty good. Mewtwo looks pretty good. Bulbasaur looks good. As I accidentally swipe when I'm not supposed to. Friggin' phone. Psyduck looks good. Charm Charmander, I believe that is. Yeah, Char Charmander looks good. Squirtle looks good. It's just with certain Pokemon, it looks really bad. Like, Apom looks like Manhog bad. Like... It's the textures. It's all about the textures. The designs are fine. It's the textures. The textures just skeeve me out. I'm sorry. Also, I do not like the humans in this movie. They are bland. They are dull. They are cliche. They're just there to be there. Because it's a live action remake. And with every live action remake, you just gotta have your token human characters. And unlike someone like Tom Wachowski from the Sonic movies, none of the characters in here have that kind of charm to them. I especially hated this one. 
This one right here. And no, it's not because she's a woman. It's because her she's so over the top and can be so cringy. Like, I, I didn't like her character. And then the writing is nothing more than decent. There's a few jokes in here that are pretty low-hanging fruit. And then there's some jokes that are okay. There's some pretty decently funny moments in here. And then the villain is terrible. Like, almost as bad as the one in Volcano. And like, oh man, this, the villain was bad. Almost as bad as Zero. Like, it's almost that bad. And I, th I don't know. I feel like they could have done more with this concept than they ended up doing. Okay, that's all my negatives. Let's move on to the positives because I do have a lot to say. The biggest one, right off the bat, Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu. He is excellent in this movie as his character. Especially when the plot twist comes in later on in the movie. And it kind of throws you for a loop. But he's emotional when he needs to be. He's funny when he needs to be. Like, it's Ryan Reynolds. You can't really go wrong with that. And he's, he did great as Pikachu. Yes, he pretty much just sounds like himself. But a lot like what Chris Pratt just did with the Mario movie, he brings this kind of charm to it. Where you know it's just him doing his normal voice, but you don't care because you're having too much fun. So... Yeah, I really like Ryan Reynolds as the, tech, as the Pikachu himself. He's pretty good. Um, Justin... Justice Smith, the guy from Dungeons & Dragons, is... He's okay. The, right, the acting in this movie is perfectly serviceable. It's just the writing. The writing, the writing is why I don't like the characters. But... Aside from that, I mean, I like the I like the acting. I like Justice Smith. I like Bill Nye, even though, like I said, he's a bad villain. But he does what he, what he can with the material he is given. And some of the side characters are okay. Like, the acting here is fine. It's the writing about why I don't like the characters very much. The acting is fine. Um, the action is pretty good. Um, yeah, the action is pretty good. I feel like... Like, in the battles, with when they're trying to show, like, powers and stuff like that, that stuff looks really good. It, it's, the, it's the texture of the designs. It, it just skeeps me out. I'm sorry. And then, in my opinion, this movie's biggest strength, without a doubt, is its world building. They do such a great job establishing this world, how it works, what its rules are, and how... Pokemon are able to walk with humans and not, you know, seem scary or freak out human other humans. Like, they explain it really well. They do a great job with the world building. And there's also a nice wide variety of settings and locations, which I do appreciate. Because most of the time with these video game movies, and especially when they're live action remakes, they kind of lack in terms of like actual visual variation. But here, you get more than enough of it, and, it's, and it all looks pretty good. I also really think the directing is pretty good. Who directed this? Uh, give me one minute. Rob Letterman. Uh, Rob Letterman does a pretty good job directing. And then the cinematography is excellent. Like, I love, love the cinematography in this movie. Like, it's bright, it's colorful. And it feels like Pokemon, even though at the same time, it's very grounded in realism. Like, you could take pretty much any shot from this movie and just put it on a wall and it would look pretty good. So, yeah, I do like that. I do really, really like that. So, I also think the pacing's pretty good and the mystery is okay. And another thing I definitely appreciate about this movie, they didn't ruin Mewtwo. Like, if you saw my Genesect review, you know how much that ticked me off. But here, I, Mewtwo's done pretty good and he has a decent voice. And then the voice acting of the Pokemon's pretty good. And then the Easter eggs. Hmm. If you're a Pokemon fan, you are going to love all the Easter eggs in this movie. Like, one scene where. Justice Smith's character is talking to another guy saying this Pikachu is talking to me and instead of hearing we hear that familiar Pika Pika like we hear Pikachu being Pikachu for that brief moment like it's fan service but 
it makes sense. It works with the story, and it was adorable. Like, I loved that little cameo from Pikachu's normal voice actress. There's a couple cameos in here. The design of the Pokemons themselves are probably going to give people nostalgia. And they have a nice wide variety of them in here, too. So, yeah. And, like I said, if you really like this movie, I can understand that. If you're a fan, you're definitely going to get a lot more out of it. But coming from someone who's more on the casual side of Pokemon, this movie's pretty good, but I feel like it lacks in rewatch value. But then again, like I said, maybe when I do rewatch this movie, that can change. So, who knows? Maybe I just need to watch it some more and give it some time to grow on me. And then I might be able to be suckered into calling it great like all of you guys do. But for now, it's on the cusp of being great, but it just has a litany of problems that just keep me from being able to do so. It's a great time for Pokemon fans. It's fun. It's entertaining. But it just has so many problems. And I'm sorry, you can say I'm being too harsh or being too rough with it, but that's what I do. I can't lie to you guys about my opinion and what I think. And yes, I understand I can be a little overly critical at times, but I mean, I'm a critic. It's what I do. And then again, I'm one of the more lax critics because you're talking to one of the only critics that actually likes Shazam Fury of the Gods. So don't say I'm being too harsh, okay? This is nothing more than my opinion. You're allowed to enjoy whatever you want to enjoy, all right? And I still think this is a good movie. I still think it is a fun movie. It just lacks in rewatch value has a creepy CGI and bad human characters and writing that's nothing more than decent. Everything else is pretty much a strength. I like the world building. I like detect- I like Pikachu himself. I like the voices. I like the acting, which is, like I said, it's serviceable. It's good. It just has things about it that annoy me. And again, like I said, there's a lot of bias here because you're talking to one of the biggest Sonic fans in northeastern uh, United States of America. So, yeah, there's going to be bias here, but it's still pretty good. And I recommend that even if you aren't a Pokemon fan, give it a shot. It might work better for you than it does for me. And if you are a Pokemon fan, absolutely see this. You're going to get way more out of it. So, my final verdict for Detective Pikachu is going to be a 7 out of 10. It is a pretty good movie, it's fun. But if you aren't a lifelong or diehard fan of the series, it's kind of a one and done. If you aren't a fan, check it out. If you like it, keep watching it. And if you don't, then that's okay. And if you are a fan, well, go watch it. Then again, I'm pretty sure you probably already have because of how much bank this movie made at the box office. So, yeah. That is my long-winded, very overly critical review of Detective Pikachu. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon, including today when we finish off the Pokemon movies with Secrets of the Jungle. And that's a pretty great one, so I'm excited to talk about that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Enjoy whatever you want to enjoy. And I'll see you in the next review. Take care. Pikachu!